Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brenda and for today's video, we are officially decorating for fall. So I'm so excited to share with you guys everything. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. And we're going to keep this video very short and straight to the point. So I really hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and hop right into it. So starting off with the entryway, I went ahead and cleaned up the mirror and I'm going to be decorating with some books. Here I have Live Beautiful and I also have Kinfolk Home and I basically just stack them up top of each other and then right on top I added this really cute neutral pumpkin. This one I actually DIY'd. It's not super perfect. It still needs another layer of paint but I will be showing how I did this DIY later on in this video. But anyways, I added that on top and then right next to it I wanted to keep this area very minimal, just very simple but still with that touch of fall. So so I added two of my vintage pots that I have and I don't have a link to these exactly because usually they're all very unique but I'll have similar links to other ones that are very very similar to these and then in the inside I went with these stems from Michaels but I did think they were a little bit too yellow so I wanted to just give them a little bit more of a neutral touch you guys know that I love my home to be very very neutral very beige so I went ahead and purchased some spray paint and I spray painted them just a little bit just to hide a little bit of that yellow so I went in with two different colors i went in with this like taupey color and then i also went with a like rust brown just to add little hints of like reddish brown here and there around the branches And this is what they ended up looking like once I played around with the spray paints and then I just added it to the larger black vase that I have. And that's basically everything that I did for my entryway. I really love how it's just giving a little bit of fall but it's just very minimal and it's not too crowded to where it like stresses me out. So anyways, I just, I love the way that I styled this. I think I might end up adding two candlestick holders, but that will be the only other thing I'll end up adding here. Moving on to my formal living room. So I do have two living rooms in my home. This one, I call it formal just because it's in the front, but we do hang out here very often. And right now it's just a blank slate. I went ahead and cleaned up my couch. I usually tend to do this with every season just because I wanna like give it just a little bit of a refresh. I don't just do this for springtime. But anyways, I just went in with this, what is it called? Like lint remover thingy and i just cleaned up the couch because it usually gets like like that pilling um with use and then once i did that i just added this blanket that i purchased at target from the spring collection i believe i don't know if they have it still but if they do i will link it down below in the description box and then for my pillows, I added these beautiful linen cover pillows. These I purchased on Amazon and then the insides are just downfilled, which make them very, very fluffy and beautiful. And I will leave a link to that down below as well. Then I added this pillow from Target. This one is from 23rd and Deanne, no 23rd by Deanne. And then this lumber pillow is from Michaels. And then for my coffee table, I get a lot of questions of where my coffee table is from. This one I found on Facebook Marketplace. But anyways, right on top, I added this marble tray that is, I believe, from the Studio Me collection for spring. And then I just added a candle that's from Target, my incense, and then some coasters. And then on the other side, I added a book and then a glass pumpkin. This pumpkin I did find last year at Home Goods. I haven't seen them this year, but it's a really, really good way just to get some inspiration if you need that. And you can just go to Home Goods and find a very similar one. And then right next to it, I just added some more home decor books. The bottom one is a vintage find, and then the top one is a home made for home, something like that. Um, I can't read, I'm very blind. But anyways, I will have a link to everything down below. And then right next to it, I have my comfit pot, which is my favorite thing ever. I bought it at Olive Atelier, and I use it everywhere. It's all over the place. But for now, I'm going to be having it at my coffee table. And then I just added these beautiful magnolia stems from a floral. Thank you. 
And then I did want to add a little touch of tackiness and I just added this gorgeous just neutral pumpkin pillow and hopefully nobody takes this the wrong way. Obviously I used to be a farmhouse decorator and now that's considered tacky so honestly it just makes me really happy to have like a blanket like that even if it's tacky. So moving on to the DIYs. So these are the pumpkins that I picked up. They're from Hobby Lobby and Michaels, I believe. And I basically just have a bunch of different assortments, different shapes, sizes, and then I just painted them neutral. And yes, some of you guys might be like, oh my God, like not everything has to be neutral. But unfortunately, I'm just a neutral lover. And when I have color, I eventually have to remove it because it's just too much for me. I don't know. I think I might be mentally ill if I'm being completely honest, but I just love neutral so anyways i went ahead and painted my pumpkins these beautiful neutral colors i will add all the pink colors down below in the description box for you guys but anyways i just mixed some baking soda with the paint and just added that to my pumpkins and i think it looks really really cute And then I just went ahead and styled them once they were dry on my fireplace. This one is a faux one. It's not real. It's actually not even attached to the wall, unfortunately, because it's not, uh, the sides aren't like deep enough. So there's literally a gap on the sides, but that's fine. Anyway, so moving on to my other little console table that's on the other side behind the fireplace. So this one is also another Facebook, Facebook marketplace find. Then I just added this gorgeous like art print vintage art print from etsy a book and then one of these other pumpkins that i also painted and then the other side i just added this tall glass vase and then some bare branches that i found i believe at joanne's if not it was michael's And then last but not least, I just added another vase to style on there. And then this candle here, I just put it there. I don't know if it's going to stay there. I don't want the branches to catch on fire, but I thought it looked really cute right next to it. It was actually one of you guys that told me about this candle um, that was at Home Goods, and I finally found it. So anyways, that is basically it for the living room. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. I hope you guys love it. I know this video is very, very short, but... There's not very much for you to show you guys. I keep things very simple and neutral and minimal in my home. So anyways, let me know how you like it and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.